Welcome to an example on how to find the mode, mid-range, range, and estimate of the center deviation using the range rule of thumb given a data set. While it's not required, let's order the data from least to greatest here on the side. Again, it's not required, but it does make it easier to analyze the data, and it's not that much more work since we have a small data set. So starting with the least values or smallest values, we'd have one, two, four, eight, followed by 12, 13, 13, 18, and finally 21 and 26. So again, this is not required, but I think you'll agree that having the data ordered from least to greatest makes it much easier to determine the greatest value, the least value, as well as the value or values that occur the most often. And this is information we need in order to determine these statistical measures. So let's begin by determining the mode. For review, the mode is a value that appears the most often in a set of data. And there can be more than one mode if more than one value appears the most. So looking at the data ordered from least to greatest, notice how we can quickly see that the data value of 13 occurs the most. It occurs twice. No other data values occur twice or more, and therefore the mode is 13. Next, we'll find the mid-range. So again, for review, the mid-range is the mean or average of the greatest value and the least value of a data set. So the mid-range is going to be equal to, we know the greatest value is 26 and the least value is 1. So the mid-range is going to be 26 plus 1 divided by 2. Again, we're finding the mean or average of the greatest value and least value. So we have 27 divided by 2, which equals 13.5. The mid-range is 13.5. Next, we'll find the range, where the range is the difference of the greatest value and the least value of the data set. So the range equals the greatest value minus the least value. So for our data set, the range is equal to 26 minus 1, which equals 25. And then finally, we want to estimate the standard deviation using the range rule of thumb. The estimate of the standard deviation using the range rule of thumb is the range divided by 4. And since we already know the range is equal to 25, the estimate of the standard deviation using the range rule of thumb is going to be the range of 25 divided by 4, which is equal to 6.25. I hope you found this helpful.